Let's look at an example of a spanning set. So let's consider uh, the polynomials of degree at most 2, which I've denoted here by script P sub 2. Okay, so uh, perhaps the question is to find a spanning set for P2. All right, well, maybe the first thing to do is to write down what the set of polynomials of degree at most 2 looks like. So it looks like the collection of all things of the form uh, a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared. And then here, these coefficients are just any number that they want to be. OK. <clears throat> so then that tells me a generic element is a0 plus a1 uh, x plus a2 x squared. And that I can see this is the same thing as a0 times 1 plus a1 times x plus a2 times x squared, which maybe doesn't look a whole lot different, but I'm understanding now that this is a linear combination of this element and this element and this element. And so in fact the polynomials are all linear combinations of those things. So we have that P2 is the span of 1 and x and x squared. All right. So maybe uh, you're asked, what is the span of um, x minus x squared, 1 plus x, and um, 2x squared, something like that. OK, what is this? Identify this span. Well, let's see. We might make the guess that any quadratic polynomial can be written uh, as a linear combination of these. Is that possible? Well, let's see. In, in order for that to be the case, we would need to be able to have um, a times uh, x minus x squared plus b times, or actually, you know what? Let me call these all with coefficients. So c1, c2, just like we were doing before, plus c3 uh, times 2x squared. <clears throat> um, can I find uh, coefficients like that, which will give me um, a given polynomial? So here the idea is that this is um, some given polynomial. So by asking whether or not I can solve this equation right here, I'm asking, is it possible to write a given polynomial as a linear combination of, of these three? Um, maybe we'll give them names just to make it convenient. So we'll call this first one P1 and the second one P2 and the third one P3. So is my polynomial B here in the span of P1, P2, and P3? That's the question we're trying to, to solve. Well, let's see. So um, if this equation were solvable, then uh, I could collect the coefficients of like terms. So if I look at the uh, constant term on the left, we have one coming up right here. So we have C2, and that's the only one I see. Meanwhile, on the right, we have uh, B0. Now, uh, if we look at coefficients of x, then on the left, there's a C1 here, and there's a C2 of them here. So I have uh, C1 plus C2. And on the right, I have B1 copies of x. And then if I look at uh, the coefficients for x squared, <coughs> on the um, left, I have minus one of them here and plus two of them here. So I have um, minus c1 plus 2c3, and that has to add up to b2. Okay, 
So this boils down now to, um, let's see, I've got uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 2, bar B0, B1, B2. And I need to know if this system is consistent. So at this point, I've converted the question about polynomials into a question about matrices. And it's easy to solve. So in fact, um, we could check to see if there's going to be a solution to this one just by computing the determinant. And the determinant of this guy is going to be, let's see, I uh, get um, 0 plus 0 plus 0 um, minus 0 minus 0 minus 2 which is non-zero. So then that tells me that, yes, it's consistent. And since I know that that system is consistent, then I know from the characterization of invertibility theorem that, um, <coughs> yes, we can solve the system. So in other words, we can uh, find C1, C2, C3, um, for any B. And so as a consequence, the span of P1, P2, and P3 um, as, as given just, just up here is indeed equal to the collection of all polynomials of degree 2 or less.